So rather than starting with the technical definition of network synchronization, allow me to start with the following scenario. Imagine if we were supposed to have this interview online and I was traveling in a different country in a different time zone. And we agreed on a timing without specifying the time zone. What might happen is you might show up at a different time than the time that I show up. And this interview will never take place. The fact that we didn't face any of this confusion today is because we live in the same place, we refer to the same time zone, and we see the exact same time. A similar thing happened in the network between the different devices, where when the different devices have a common notion of time, it's known as synchronization or muzamana in Arabic. Most people nowadays hear about like 5G, Industry 4.0, high frequency trading, smart grids, and Internet of Things, IoT. But what most people are not aware of is the fact that timing is extremely important. And for us as a, as a human, if I am early or late by a second, it doesn't make a huge difference. But for a lot of these applications, the required accuracy can reach up to 10th of a million of a second. So Muzamana is based on getting the timing from the network, where we use a standard timing protocol called the Precision Time Protocol. This protocol defines how the different devices exchange the timing information, but it doesn't define the accuracy, where the accuracy is defined by the receiving node. Accordingly, we developed Muzamana that can be implemented there and help you get very accurate time, and it's less costly than the GPS solution. In the next five to 10 years, we hope to see Muzamana leading in network synchronization, not only in the MENA region, but also globally. So from my perspective, one of the key elements to a successful innovative project is the team. And this is the case with Muzamana, where we have an amazing team of different experts, where we all sit on one table and bring different perspectives. So we have people from the industry, people who also in the academia, and all of them sit on one table and bring different perspectives to seeing the exact same project. And that's what makes Muzamana successful. My advice to anyone who have an innovative idea is to be positive, to be patient, and also to be open-minded to accepting new approaches and techniques.